Hey everybody, Brett Talock, TN Artist. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So in this piece, I'm trying to do a koi painting and just trying to stay a little loose. Now this is sped up, obviously, uh, about six times the speed. It was just over an hour for painting this. And what I did was I started with real loose shapes using the oil brush and not really the custom brush like I had before so that you know I could keep it looser and keep it so that somebody could actually do something similar. Now the full piece, the slow version of it with me walking through it and explaining what I'm doing is on my uh, Patreon page. So make sure to jump over there if you haven't. There's hours of lessons and you can help support the channel there for just as low as three bucks a month for it. So what I did here was I just started with general shapes and colors and then started taking the eraser tool and erasing away what I didn't need and refining the shapes down to how I wanted them to be. And that's a great way to do it if you're trying to stay a little loose and trying to just think about the overall composition and the how you want to have something before you invest a lot of time in it. So I recommend doing that way. Start really loose you know, and play around with it. So that way, again, if you decide you want to enlarge something, move something, get it to another layer, whatever, you have that capability to do so. Now, for this part right here, what I'm doing is I'm actually thinking about the direction of the ripples where they'll be. So I'm erasing away the edges to give it that wavy kind of feel and thinking about how those curves from the green will be the indication of the ripples. And then again, from there, just trying to change stuff to different layers, move it around and adjust my composition. So that's why it's really great to work in digital and why it's really great to be able to move stuff around as you're going through it and playing around with it. But as you can see, I start refining it even more in this part, going layer by layer, locking the layer transparency so that I can get a good feel for it. And all, in, all I'm doing here again is just using the oil brush to kind of smear stuff around and start um, getting that look that I want for it. And you can even see it, it kind of has that liquidy, you know, kind of look to it already. And just uh, painting this, I painted this uh, on about four different layers and then eventually merged it all down to one layer so that I could uh, just work on it, you know, as one layer. And then I added a couple more to, to add some special effects like darkening and, and multiplying layers and that kind of stuff, but some different stuff. So just enjoy watching this. Like I said, it's sped up. If you want the full thing, jump over to Patreon. The link is below. If you need any of the brushes and stuff, I have some new brushes on Gumroad that you could get there as well, uh, including free ones. So you can, uh, anything from free to paid, any of the paid stuff helps support the channel. So always feel free to do that. But yeah, put any comments, questions, and stuff below. I'm happy to help out however I can. I try to respond back, usually within 24 hours and uh, kind of go from there. So I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm just going to let this play out and we'll see you on the next one. And if you don't mind, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for the notifications. All right. Have a fantastic rest of the day.
Oh, one quick thing I wanted to mention is that you'll notice that the final piece here and the final piece that you see either on my Etsy shop or on the thumbnail here are a little different and I didn't go over that in this because once I finished painting this part I just started playing around with multiple layers and the uh, palette knife and the custom brushes as far as putting them in a race mode uh, and the standard custom brushes not really so much mine but the ones that come with Art Rage and just erasing and layering and multiplying and, and painting around it wasn't really a how-to for that part of it because it was honestly again it was just me playing and that's the best way to get that kind of a look i just decided i wanted a little bit more of a painterly kind of feel to it on the prints that i was doing so i added some brush strokes i took away some paint i deleted some i added a little bit here and there some splatters and that kind of stuff so that's why the two are a little different i know some people will probably ask about that but that's really why the difference is there and how you can get that i can go over that some if you want to um have me do that just let me know in the comments but i didn't think it would be worth putting on here because again i was just playing it was probably like 45 minutes of me playing around i wasn't even thinking about a how-to or or as far as recording that but anyway so i just thought i'd jump in here and let you know that little piece for that in case somebody's like hey it's a little different looking on the thumbnail or in the etsy shop and that's why i wanted just something a little different to put up for sale and have that going for there so anyway if you like these you want prints or anything remember you can always jump over to my etsy shop as well but anyway just wanted to let you know that little tidbit appreciate it Bye.